Hello and welcome to Paper Plays, Julie Kay. Welcome everyone and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out to see what I have been up to. And my latest project that I've been working on is kind of creating a little pouch or some people might call it a clutch. And I'm almost done with it. I do need to add a piece of Velcro in it to close it, but I didn't have one at the moment, so I need to pick pick up some Velcro, I think. But I did want to pop on and share it with you guys. These are really fun to make, and they're actually quite quick and easy if you have all the supplies. And I like creating these clutches. I think they're perfect for gifting Happy Mail, or else they're really fun to store some of your own personal supplies, and then when you set them out on your desk, they're really fun to look at. And so the back side is pretty, pretty plain, but I do like how it turned out. Um, I did use the base. It's kind of like an eyelet type material, like the eyelet lace, but it's a material. And I did edge it with some fun little flower trim. So I did leave the back side plain. And on the front side, I layered up some gorgeous little two layered appliques that have some pearls in the middle and there was two different styles. I had this style and also this style. So I used two of them here and two right here. And in the middle I had this beautiful applique that came from a wedding dress and that also came from Angel Dreams Crafts Kim. I had it left over from a design team package. And the only thing I added to it was I added the rhinestones to it. It did not have rhinestones. It just had the pearls and the sequins on it. But I went ahead and added the rhinestones just because I used some rhinestone and pearl trim and I thought it would be nice to, to complement it by adding a couple more couple of rhinestones up on the actual applique. And then if you look at the bottom right here, you can see I use that rhinestone and pearl trim and that was some trim I had picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then I also had this gorgeous kind of eyelash type trim underneath it that's kind of like a dangle that I thought was really pretty. What I liked about this one is it's elegant but yet it's kind of simple and classic looking. And so again um, that you can see that flower trim here that I used on this side and this will just open up and I need to add a little bit of some velcro here so that it has some more to close. But when you open it up you can see more of that flower trim here on the sides. And then at the top of the pocket here, or the pouch, I have some trim and some flat back pearls and then the exact same ones up here and I'll hold it up close so you can check that out. And I'm not quite sure where I got that trim from, um, but I had added the flat back pearls and then also this is some flat back pearl trims too that I had added on top of that just to kind of give it a cleaner, more finished look. And so for this one, if anyone is wondering what I started off with for before I actually did the decorating is I had picked up these placemats at Hobby Lobby and they were part of the spring shop collection. They originally were $8.99, but one of the times when I was at Hobby Lobby, they were on the 90% off clearance. So I got them for like next to nothing. And when I saw them, I thought, oh, these are really cute. And there was like five or six left. And what I liked about it was that it was kind of the eyelet material and I thought it was really pretty and so I thought I could use it for some sort of crafting thing. And let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. Um, you can see a little bit of my messy desk off to the side. But these clutches are really easy to do. What I ended up doing is I took actually two of these and I used, um, I put the two reverse sides together or the, not reverse sides, but the two bottom sides together. And then I just went around with my sewing machine and I sewed them together. I only have one in front of me, so I do apologize for that. But once I did that, then I closed it up as far as I wanted to, to make my little pocket. And I also cut off the tags too. There was tags on them, which I did cut off. But once you've, you've, you're happy with the way it looks on the inside and the, the outside, material you just fold it up like this and you can go ahead and then I just sewed it shut along the edges right here with my sewing machine but if you are someone who uses hot glue you could also hot glue them together and then of course the cover just flaps over then and so these are really simple to make and then once you've um, constructed it you can go ahead and decorate it however you want so um, if you didn't have a placemat you could just use material you just need a piece of rectangle material to do that 
And like I said, I like to back them or I like to ha use two pieces just because it adds just a little bit more stability to it where this is kind of loose and wobbly. This one has a little bit more structure to it and that's because I used the placemat on the inside and the outside. So again, I wanted to thank everyone so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.